welcome. We are from a project called We Be Kids and we provide free online resources, nature-based activities to inspire families and children with activities in the great outdoors. I'm called Annie. My name's Danny. And this is our daughter. And today we are going to be showing you how to make some nature-inspired paper lanterns. In order to make this resource today, you're going to need a few materials. You're going to need to have with you either some pre-made willow or any bendy wood uh, reeds or circles. You can find a link to those resources on our website. You're going to need some leaves. You can find those wherever it is you are in the woods or maybe there's some dried ones you have from previous. And if not, you can also cut some in paper, some shapes and decorate. You have some other resources that you may find on your walks on the way in. Twine, tissue paper, you need to have some plain white scissors. You can also use Lura, also useful for the sticky fingers. There is a mixture of PVA glue and water. It is a 50-50 mix, half water, half glue. Good tip, make sure you make it with hot water before you go. Then also a whole range of different sticks which you can collect also on your way in for building with and a towel for those sticky fingers. We're going to do first of all is we are going to tie on our sticks onto our willow circle base and of course you can use dogwood or you could use bramble or you could use young ash um, or anything that is of a flexible nature to make your wreath. You can see what kind of length we have and so that it can stand. You're going to do that in three places. So equally space out your sticks around your base. And that's just secured there with an overhand knot. Now you're ready for the next stage. Take yourself some tissue paper and you are going to rip yourself some strips. Once you've prepared some of the paper, you are going to begin to apply them to your structure. Take your mixture of PVA and water, lay your tissue paper into the mixture. and slide it out so it's going to be slightly drippy and possibly fold itself. Be prepared to get quite messy. You're then going to take your structure and you are simply going to lay that first layer onto the structure and wrap it around. You're then going to continue this same technique all over the whole structure that is the TP area. You're going to need one layer to begin with and likely a second layer for this to be fully complete. Place the base of your lantern to dry by the fire or somewhere warm. Obviously not too close to any flames, it is paper. And you can then start on the next part of the process. So in the next stage of the process, we need to consider how to decorate our beautiful lanterns. And as you can see, we can use beautiful leaves in the sides to create all sorts of wonderful patterns, just as they naturally are. Obviously our beautiful natural leaves are exactly the sorts of shapes of trees around us. Um, I often think that the oak tree with its beautiful oak leaf also makes a wonderful tree. You can also turn it the other way up and there you have a natural Christmas tree just from an oak leaf. But if you don't have one of those around you, handy scissors are always useful. Cut myself a different tree shape out this time. 
something that's seasonal. And I'm going to cut myself a Christmas tree shape that I can place inside the tissue paper layers. Decide where you would like to put your leaves or the shapes that you've cut out onto your lantern. You're going to literally place them onto the slightly tacky surface, which is probably what you still have. And then you're going to take some more tissue paper. And once again, you are going to be placing it into the PVA water mix, pulling it off. And then just with one layer, you are going to be placing it on top of your beautiful leaf shape or your leaf cut out and placing those on top and placing those around your paper lantern and before you know it you're going to have a beautiful nature inspired paper lantern with beautiful scenes on all sides from your leaves and it means that you are ready now you can either attach this to a beautiful long stick for it to be carried you can place it on a tabletop as part of the decoration put your light underneath what you do is up to you but enjoy and hopefully we'll see you sometime soon take care